It's, yeah, more of the project that attracts me. I mean, there, I haven't done that much television, and a lot of it's because of the time frame and the, not to be able to do what I would really want to do with it, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything against television. I, you know, I would do more television if it was, if something came up that was, interested me, and, you know, but I mean, also I'm at the point in my career where people think that I would only do big movies, you know. So I, I just, you know, if somebody came to me with something that I really wanted to do, I'd do it for television, I had no problem with that. Yeah. But it's mostly film, I think it's film. And the unfortunate thing is, you know, I mean, I, I always say that I think the biggest monster I ever created was my business. You know, I, when I worked out of my house, uh, it, my overhead was in my house payments, what I had, had to make anyway. So what, what I liked about the film industry when I first started was that, you know, I would work really hard for a really intense period, but I would, I would probably have equal amount of time off. And, and I could just, like, do stuff for myself or just do, do things, you know. And, uh, just chill, you know, <laughs> but unfortunately now, I mean, I've got this you know, 40,000 square foot facility with a bunch of highly paid people that when I don't have a job, it costs me a fortune every week and my bank account disappears really quickly, you know, and, and I don't like that aspect of it. And I wish there was, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, I, my crew, I, I, I love my crew and they're so good, I, I hate to lose them, but it's, I have had to take shows at times that I normally probably wouldn't have because the monster shop is, has, has forced me into that, you know. So.